named after the roman goddess of love and beauty venus is our closest planetary neighbor and is the second brightest object in the night sky venus is the second planet from the sun is very similar to earth from a distance but up close it's a very different world venus is about the same size as earth just a slightly smaller its structure is nearly identical with an iron core a hot mantle and a rocky crust the crust of venus however is dotted with thousands of volcanoes including maxwell montes a volcano almost as tall or even taller than mount everest venus also has a thick layered atmosphere it's full of clouds that rain sulfuric acid and whip around the planet at a speed up to 224 miles per hour faster than some category 5 hurricanes venus is shrouded by a thick blanket of carbon dioxide that obscures the planet's surface this dense atmosphere traps the sun's heat like panes of glass in greenhouse causing a process known as the runaway greenhouse effects because of this extreme warming venus is the hottest planet in the solar system with surface temperatures reaching a scorching 472 degree celsius or 880 degree fahrenheit below the dense cloud cover venus is a scorched deformed world that is covered with ancient lava flows the atmosphere down here is so dense that if you could stand on the surface it would feel like you were under 3000 feet or 914 meters of water as the surface pressure is crushing 92 bar most of the venetian landscape is fairly flat however several large mountains and volcanoes are visible as i have already said the tallest being maxwell montes a structure that is 7 miles or 11 kilometers making it bigger than mount everest this hostile dry environment makes it impossible for life as we know it to exist down here and even the metal spacecraft that successfully landed only managed to survive about an hour before being crushed and melted away but venus may not have always been the scorching hellish world that we see today as certain studies have revealed that possibly only 700 million years ago the deadly planet was covered with shallow oceans of flowing liquid water If this is correct then Venus may have been briefly habitable over a few hundred million years possibly even long enough before life to begin together with Mercury Venus is one of the few planets in the solar system without a moon and it is the only planet in the solar system to rotate clockwise which is called retrograde rotation which simply means that if you were again able to stand on venus the sun would rise in the west and set in the east the retrograde rotation is also extremely slow making one venusian day the same as 243 earth days however one year on venus lasts only 225 earth days making a venusian day longer than a venusian year Exploration of the surface has been difficult over the years because of its extreme atmosphere but many spacecraft have visited the mysterious planet In the 1960s 70s and 80s the former Soviet Union Venera probes plunged through the planet's cloud and were able to send back data some even managing to capture the first ever images of its mysterious landscape In more recent times astronomers have used powerful radar signals from radio telescopes and orbiting satellites to penetrate the clouds and map the planet's surface revealing 98% of its scarred volcanic terrain Although we know a lot about Venus there are still many mysteries that are awaiting to be solved and by studying this bizarre world we can better understand our atmosphere possibly even preventing the earth from one day becoming the next venus i really hope you enjoyed this episode of fascinating space if you did then please tap the like button share and if you haven't already subscribed then do so as there are plenty more videos to come 
The next episode in this series will be uploaded soon and is about our home, the Earth. So make sure to look out for that one. Thank you for watching.